Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we are building a house in the town. So I started this small town not too long ago, but I have been inviting subscribers to come and help me with the builds and so far we have those two shops and today I'm skipping building a shop because I've been wanting to start on the houses so the day has finally come. I am joined by Maddie and she is going to be helping me build the interior of this house. So let's get started. Okay, so Maddie is going to be working on the upstairs of this house and I on the other hand will be working on the first floor of the house. Okay, so I have to place down this stairs somewhere so that Maddie can start working. Um, I think I'm going to use the classic spiral stairs since they are the stairs that take up the least amount of space and it's quite a small house. It is a 5 by a 5 by 6 so there's not much space here. So I'm going to place down these stairs and those are the stairs that we're going to use. Okay, so my plan is to have the living room somewhere over here and the kitchen over here. I'm thinking of adding a little divider, is that what it's called? Just to like make the... Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could... I'm going to add an arched opening right here and just resize it so that it can fit and can, it can be like a door frame. Okay, so that is the arched opening, so it's gonna be like a little section here for the stairs. This is where the kitchen will go and the living room will be somewhere here. So first things first, I'm just gonna add some wall trims because I still don't really know what kind of, what kind of theme I want to go for this house. Well, obviously I want to go with a fall theme, but I don't know what like, I don't really have any inspiration of what I should add. So I actually think I'm going to be taking inspiration from the show Gilmore Girls. If you have not watched that show, I highly recommend. It's a good show and I really love it. So I'm going to be trying to like not really recreate their kitchen, but sort of use aspects from their kitchen into this kitchen since there definitely is a big size difference. I'm just going to add the necessities. Also, I know I'm going to do a few. I'm going to do these other. There's going to be three houses in the town. And then on the other section where the other houses are supposed to be. I'm thinking I'm going to add an apartment complex. That way we can have a lot more housing. Since these houses aren't that big and can't really house that many people. So... I think that might be one of the last things that I work on because it will take a lot more and I will probably have a few of you join if you guys would like to, not just one so that we could get the job done quicker. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for the town and I'm like really excited to finish this town. I love the way it's coming out already so far and I just like can't wait to see how it'll look like. But I'm going to add some cabinets, so I think I'm going to use the rustic cabinets and then I'm just going to place them down so that they fit all in order. You see, I would have done that, but there's that little problem. <laughs> I'm just going to place down these rustic glass cabinets, rustic glass cabinets, and then I'm going to take a rustic half cabinet and I'll just place a normal hood on top just like that okay, so that is how the kitchen is coming out so far for the dining table I do want to make a custom dining table because we don't have oval dining tables is something that I've realized and I would really love to have a cute little small oval dining table so what you'll need for this is a vertical cylinder and you will need a cube. So take the cylinder and just resize it to, this, to around that size. 
and you're gonna need two of these so get two and then take a cube and make it flatter and try to get it around the same size of that but you can always resize it so take these two so these two vertical cylinders and place them like that I'm gonna place them down like that and then I'm going to take a cube and just resize it so that it fits like right like that you can always just resize things with the transform tool so I'm going to raise these to about right here and then I'm going to just re-raise re these I mean to the same height as the cube okay so the table is done but I just realized something there's this really big table but this house only has one room. Um, you know, it's useful if you have people over, I mean. So, if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you guys know that I do, um, most of the coloring off camera because it takes way too long. And, especially with the new color wheel, I'm, like, always just changing up the colors of everything. So I like to do that off camera, but my favorite update of the entire year has come. It was here like a couple of days ago. It is the fall update. I, words cannot explain how much I love this update. Like it is my favorite update of the entire year. So of course I'm going to add a ton of fall item themes because what is a fall town without fall item themes? So I'm going to add a fall pumpkin porcelain jar, I think that's what it's called. But of course this is still a kitchen so I still have to add the necessities you would need in a kitchen. So add a cup of spoons and then for the appliances I think I'm going to put them all in this little corner right here. Ooh. I need a sink. Let me place a kitchen sink down. And I'm going to place this pumpkin jar right there. Maybe that's a hazard. Who knows? Probably is. Oops. I'm actually going to place the pumpkin right there. And I'm going to place soap over here because you need soap. Like, how are you going to have a sink and not have any soap? So... I'm going to do something that I never do and I never do this because it brings back too many memories. I want to add a bay window. Why it brings back too many memories is it brings me back to the days when I first started building and my builds were horrendous. And I literally loved this window so much and I would use it in every single one of my builds. And ever since I stopped building like that, which is a relief that I did, I just have not been able to use this, um, use this window because every time I feel like I use it every time I use it I feel like my build is bad it reminds me of just building being it reminds me of like just being a bad a bad builder when I really like it so I'm gonna add it and I'm just gonna hope I don't regret my decision I mean it isn't a bad window it's cute I think it just like I don't know I'm gonna add some pillows Three weeks later. So I do want to add a fireplace, but as you can tell, there isn't much space here. So I think I'm going to add a wood burning stove, but I'm going to add it in the corner of the um, wall. And for the table, I think I'm just going to use a transitional console table. And that's where my TV will be at. And... For my couches and all that, I think I'm just gonna have one couch. Honestly, it doesn't really make sense to have more than one. 
So I'm going to place down a couch like right there. I still need space to walk through. And if I add more of that, you can't really walk through. I'm going to use the NYX OptiVision TV, which I do think it actually goes. It goes very well, in fact. Um, and let me add some curtains. So for the curtains, I'm thinking the curved curtains, and I'm just going to do the long ones. Place them back over there because I forgot to place them down. Um, I'm liking this room so far. I think it looks really cute. So I have these pumpkins out here, and I'm just going to copy and paste them and put them right here. Because why struggle more when it's already there? So I'm going to put it like that. And ooh, we should put like some like little storage areas. So I'm going to take these storage bins and just place a few under here. Like that to make it look like, you know, for extra storage, obviously. Take some books and place them on top of there. Um, what else should I add? I'm going to add fireplace tools because you need to have your fireplace tools if you're going to have a fireplace. And I'm just going to add some like random things from this update. So that is that so far. Um, in the TV area, I'm not sure what I want to put, but you know what I do need to put a pillar right there. I'm going to add some pumpkins right there. That looks way better. I actually think I might move these little storage things because I feel like there's too much on the floor. I think it's like, I feel like there's too much on the floor over there and it's not looking too good. I'll just add some, some paintings, like add little decals. I feel like we are missing a rug. Let me see what I can do. I think I'm going to do a rug like that. That looks really cute. So that's basically the living room done. I don't want to crowd it up too much because there isn't much room. And when a place is really crowded, it makes a place look very small. I'm going to help Maddie because she still hasn't started on the restroom and she asked me to help her. So let me help her with that. so much for helping me out with this this is the little kitchen area and here is your dining table where you can obviously just I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen this is the couch and the living room area there's just one couch because it's a one bedroom house but if you go up the stairs this is what Maddie worked on she worked on the bedroom and I helped her a little bit with the bathroom so this is the bedroom. I really like this bedroom. It's really cute. And she uses this bed which I would have never thought to use but it fits so well. So this is the little closet area. So cute. It's one of my favorite. Like it just screams small and I love it. And if you walk over here this is the bathroom. It's not the biggest bathroom. But I really like it. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a part of one of the town builds, please make sure to comment down your username. And I will be able to choose you. And I also have memberships on YouTube now. So you can also join my memberships, which are linked down below. And that's another way to get chosen to build on my town. 
but you don't have to do that. That's just if you would like to. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day.